21 by 9, check. 3440 by 1440, check. Under $300, 299, technically check. 120 hertz, check. What? These things are usually $400 plus. Hey everyone, it's Steve here from Bakehead Tech and the time of filming, this is currently on sale. However, the review goes up a few days later so I can't guarantee it, but I will put a link in the description below. We have something from Monoprice. And I actually just bought a keyboard from that I still have to do my review on, but that was 25 bucks and I'm very satisfied with it. It is the Monoprice 35 inch Zero G Curve Gaming Monitor. The model number is UWQHD. 21 by 9, 100 hertz, four milliseconds VA. And it says in the title on the website, 120 hertz overclock. Now we're gonna find out how feasible that is. But without further ado, oh, let's go ahead and unbox it. Full disclosure, my ideal monitor was actually a 4K 144 hertz monitor. But anyway, that's okay. So I already got all that done. But I figured I like to be a little different, right? My benchmarking, it used to be different. Now it's pretty standardized because there's just a pain to replicate that. But nobody benchmarks ultra wide. So now I can benchmark 2560 by 1080. 3440 by 1440, 2560 by 1440, 1080p, everything but south of 4K. I can actually benchmark over here 5760 by 1080 as well. So let's take a look at how this thing is packed. I presume, ah, okay. So we will have to turn this over. Just fine, we'll hold it so it doesn't just come crashing out. Of course, these handles are going to catch. Okay. Definitely recommend doing it on a larger table. Let me take it right here. Okay, so we are going, oh, we have a stand that just fell, shocker. Both stand pieces are here. And here, I'd probably recommend laying this down when taking it out. It's definitely a little bit of a thick boy, no doubt about that. Let's go ahead and get this in there. Oh, there's more stand pieces. And I'm going to lay this up against my computer for now. So first things first, we've downloaded this program. So I'm gonna go ahead and run it. Uh, I guess we'll just double, double click this one, hit run. May have to extract first, not 110% sure. Yes, we will run this. Okay, so we already have, looks like this monitor, yeah. So we do have the right monitor selected. Not the monitor we're actually on right now because that's not gonna show up very well on your screens here. And here we will try 110. They claim this can actually go a lot higher than that, but we shall see. And click OK. OK, let's go ahead and see if 110 worked. Select the right monitor. Oh, we're already, it's already running at that. Perfect. Let's go ahead and add another one. This time we're going to do 120. Yes. It does come to 0 .001, so I'm not sure what that's going to do. It says restart required, so I'll hit OK, and let's go ahead and reboot. OK, let's go to display settings, advanced, we are on the correct one. Let's give it a shot. Okay, we got black screen, did not come back, so we will revert. So we're back down to 110. So now we're going to try, I don't think we can edit the existing one. We're gonna bring it down to 115. I think that's a good number for it. So let's try edit. Oh, I can't, okay. So let's bring this down to 115. Okay, so let's check now. We'll go to properties. There we go, 115 hertz. And 
boom, we have a screen, so we are good to go. 115 looks to be about as far as we can push this particular panel. The only other thing I did, so I did um, turn on response time to, to middle. So you have a couple options here. You have off, low, medium, high. For this game, I want to keep it there. This is my first time filming on the Pixel 5, so bear with me here. But if you want to turn on FreeSync, there's a bunch of buttons down here. So far left is menu, down, up, and back. So we'll click on here, we'll click the menu button again. Now, as you can see, we're here. Now we're gonna go down to other, click the menu button, go down to free sync, adapt the sync, menu button, mine's already turned on. You just make sure it's on, you can go back, back, and now your free sync is enabled. So what do I think of this monitor? I don't know, it's really hard to tell because I really wanted a bigger screen actually for work when I hook my laptop up. And granted, I'm a bit close, unfortunately. I, I don't have much room to move back. So I might actually switch some of these around. So we'll see how well that works. Wish me luck there. But overall, I think it's a steal. Being able to successfully overclock this to 115 hertz, so you'll be able to run 3440 by 1440, uh, which is not quite 4K, but it's basically the step between 256 by 1440 and this. And the ultra wide experience for me has always been really cool. A lot of the games I play really benefit from ultra wide, having that screen real estate, especially World of Warcraft being one, although like I said, I need, I need more depth. So I, again, might, I think I'm gonna move my other monitors over here and then move this guy all the way down there. Plus I have an HDMI cord, so I'll be able to do HDMI 2.0. But that's, that's pretty much it. If you want a link, uh, hopefully it's still on sale by the time this review goes live, I, but I will put a link in the description below for $300. I don't think you can really get a better ultra wide in my opinion. Like it if you like it, dislike if you dislike, leave a comment, get subscribed. Oh, if there's an Amazon link, I do get a small kickback, but most likely monitor price. And as always, this is Steve from Big Head Tech, and I'll see y'all later on down the road.